Happy day, friends. So I've got to update you guys because the last vlog we did left off on a not so happy note. I was feeling like so bad, but happy to say I am feeling a lot better today, but I kind of wanted to go over what happened and talk to you guys about it. It's honestly kind of embarrassing in a way. It's not embarrassing as if like I was out in public and somebody pants me, but it's it's kind of just an uncomfortable thing to talk about. Maybe TMI for a lot of you. It's borderline TMI for me to share, but I know there's a lot of pregnant mamas who are watching our vlogs right now and one of you guys might be going through something similar. It was a bit concerning for me and I, I didn't know exactly what the turnout was gonna be. So I'm gonna sit down and kinda share with you the play by thing. I'm sorry, I keep looking. I'm not used to this yet. Holly and I filmed a video this morning. We're gonna be trying um, a bunch of different bold makeup looks throughout the week. So I keep looking over there because it catches me off guard. But but I wanted to share you guys share with you guys kind of a step by step of what kind of happened and why it was so concerning and uncomfortable and had me feeling sick. So the worst of it was Wednesday, like I said, it's been a few days now and it seems to be getting better, but I still don't know what the cause was, which is really why it was concerning. So Let's see, it's been two weeks now. I'm trying to get the timeline in order for you guys. So the previous Friday, we had some friends over. Everyone brought something to eat. So I ate a really big meal on Friday night. Obviously, I was feeling bloated like you would after any big meal. But the following day, I was just feeling like mopey, kind of out of it, just like bleh, you know what I mean? So Saturday, I was feeling just crappy from eating too much. And by that evening, I was starting to feel a little bit better. Then Sunday rolls around, and I start feeling really nauseous. It's just kind of a lingering nausea throughout the whole day. Not like my stomach was gurgling nause nauseous, but almost like a morning sickness. Like I felt like just sick and like I was going to throw up all day. Um, so I really didn't have much of an appetite on Sunday. Monday, I called my doctor because the nausea wasn't going away. I was starting to get a little bit of stomach cramps, um, but just feeling overall kind of crappy. And I thought it was due to constipation. Still could be the issue. Um, so I called my doctor, just double checked with them to see what I could take for constipation. They told me, you know, the typical colace, um, gave me a couple other suggestions. I tried some prune juice. Nothing was helping that day. To give you a little bit of backstory, I deal with constipation all the time. Like, this is nothing new. It just gets a lot worse during pregnancy. So I try what I can on Monday to get some relief. Nothing's helping. I'm not too worried at this point because it's nothing out of the ordinary. Tuesday comes around. I'm still getting nauseous, not really eating. I think on Tuesday I had applesauce and a piece of toast and that was it. And that is so unlike me. I'm the type of person that eats every two to three hours. I need to just be eating, I'm snacking, like something. I love eating, so that was really out of the ordinary for me, still feeling nauseous. And my belly was getting very bloated. I remember after I ate that piece of toast, I got so bloated to the point that it was just really uncomfortable. So now, here comes Wednesday. Still feeling bad, still haven't gone to the bathroom, um, but I start to feel sick. And that's when I was like, maybe this is something more, I don't really know. Um, it's been a long time since I've gone to the bathroom. I really kind of chalk it up to that, but I was just getting so bloated to the point where it had me in tears. Um, my doctor, my normal doctor's office was closed on Wednesday, so I had to call the after hours by the time I was in tears. Um, so when they finally called me back, I was telling them constipation is normal, but I'm not even able to pass gas. I've been burping. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Like nothing has helped. I've been taking cola, three colas for three days straight, chugging water. I've done prune juice multiple times through the day. Literally nothing was helping. I finally took some 
uh, gas relief medicine, some simethicone, and it made me start burping a little bit and kind of cut back on some of the bloating. But even though the bloating symptoms were going away, I was starting to develop a fever, which is really why I was getting a little worried um, to be constipated like that and then start developing a fever from it was just a little bit scary. That is not normal for me. Everything else, normal. But that, the nausea, the burping, the fever going up was not normal for me. So I called the doctor. So when they called me back, they said, you know, if your fever keeps going up, you should probably come in. They were asking me a a few questions to make sure that it wasn't any sort of other abdominal cramping. Um, since I am pregnant, that's, you know, top concern. And so they were just questioning me and making sure, because I was pretty sure that it was the bloating that was causing it and the constipation. Um, but they were just kind of going over some things, making sure that's what it was. They said, if my fever keeps going up, I need to come in. Um, but she said, you know, at this point, you, sh you should probably take an enema. <laughs> Um, to just try to get some relief and I was like, oh, thank goodness um, Because I know they can be iffy in pregnancy sometimes just depending depending on circumstances So I do that Finally get some relief. Maybe TMI <laughs> My husband's over there like laughing shaking his head um, TMI, but that made me feel so much better as you can imagine and they told me to switch over from Colace to Miralax So I've been taking that <laughs> religiously for like the past four or five days and honestly it took this is I've taken it five days now it took five days for anything to get moving again five days on Miralax that's my life right now but my biggest concern um and and I don't I'll talk to my doctor tomorrow we have an appointment tomorrow um, my biggest concern was that I might have a blockage or something in my intestines because even after the enema I was Feeling much better, as you can imagine, and my fever immediately started going down, you guys, which was the crazy thing. It was immediate. My temperature started dropping, um, and I was just kind of concerned that there might be a blockage or something, and I know that that can require some medical intervention. So that was my biggest concern, but it seems to be getting back to normal again. Um, I'm feeling much better. Uh, like I said, I'll talk to my doctor, see if there's anything he recommends checking out because that was so, it was kind of scary to be honest. I just, I didn't know if I was going to explode from the belly out or what. <laughs> but thank you guys for your well wishes. I do appreciate it. Um, feeling much better. Baby is fine. You can't see, I'm all black. Baby is fine, kicking here and there. Oh, here's a weird thing. That Wednesday night when I was getting so big and bloated, um, the baby stopped kicking. I stopped feeling the kicking, but immediately after I started getting some relief from the semethicone and I could feel like my belly kind of deflating a little bit, baby started kicking again, like instantly. So I almost wonder if like there was just like so much pressure. I don't know, like that was that was a scary thing too. I didn't know if it was, Restricting the baby at all. I don't know how how it works, but But after kind of thinking about it these past few days and talking to Austin um, It almost makes me wonder if it's the baby positioning that's causing me so much so many issues right now Because as some of you know, I was having quite a bit of back pain uh, like last week or something but as soon as that stopped it seemed like I started having all these gut and intestinal issues so I almost wonder if the baby is just different laying differently you're putting some sort of weird pressure on my intestines that is just causing me to not know what to do with myself so bottom line baby is fine i'm fine still trying to figure out how to work through this but but as of now things are looking good we'll be able to have another ultrasound tomorrow um get some confirmation that the baby is doing just fine and hopefully it's all uphill from there because this pregnancy so far has been a bit harder than Micah's. I, w I had such a, a wonderful pregnancy with Micah and the second trimester when it should be like feeling great for me, I am just feeling worse and worse it seems until these 
past couple days. But hopefully things are gonna be looking up for me and I can enjoy some of this pregnancy until third trimester comes around and I'm feeling too big to move. <laughs> you wanna tell them anything? Any updates? You didn't really seem to have much concern for me until I was crying on the phone with the doctor. I, I mean, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> no, well, no, like I said, like it, it was kind of, kind of a normal thing until that day, you know, aside from the nausea here and there, but Austin didn't really, I don't think he really understood how uncomfortable and painful it was for me. Because you just kind of brushed it off. I was just doing other things that day. You know. Taking care of the house. Taking care of Micah, taking care of the house. I wasn't brushing it off. I just put my energy and focus into other things because I knew you were going to take care of you. Uh, maybe a little sympathy next time would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, babe, it's okay. Hopefully, if any of you other mamas are dealing with that right now, I know how you feel. Hey. Oh, my gosh. We've got like 20 minutes before Micah gets here. Oh, yeah. Micah's been at Nana's all day today um, while we did some work. Nana didn't have to work today, so she took Micah for the day. And it was, it's been really quiet around here the past hour. <laughs> what? You didn't get my hint. <laughs> You're still not getting my hint. What? You want some lovey-dovey time? Yeah. Creep. You creep, we're vlogging! <laughs> and then one of us has to take Stella to the doctor. Do you want to take her? You want me to take her? Yeah. So I will be taking Stella to uh, the vet. She needs an update on her vaccines. And she's also, this is kind of sad, so her back legs seem to be slowly giving out on her. Um, it's just something that can happen. With older dogs, she is over 10 years old. And so we're just gonna take her in, you know, get a get a normal checkup, but also get her legs checked and see if it is anything different, if there's anything we can do about it. But from what I've looked into and from what I have seen and know and seen from other people, it seems like her legs are just slowly deteriorating. So we're not gonna go too far down that path right now, but I will update you guys um, at the vet or when I get back from the vet or something like that and let you know what's going on with Stella. Are you sad that they left already? You just got home. You just got back. You, you just, just got, got back. back. Why are you so sad? She actually clung to me for like <gasps> a good five minutes, literally just clinging to me when she got home. Are you hungry again? Okay, let's get her some food. But it was so nice just having her just miss me so much and cling. You ready to get some food? Yeah. Ready, Stella, to go to the vet? Yeah, Stella, you want to go get your... Uh, your what leggies? am I going to get? You're going to get your leggies checked. My legs? What's wrong with my legs? I think they're becoming a little weak and fragile and you don't have... No way, I don't feel nothing. You don't feel... I know you don't feel nothing. I do they feel great. And maybe we'll get your teeth first. But they all out. kind of get it in the way sometimes. Kind of dragging. <laughs> yeah. Dragging on the floor. I know. We need to make sure you stay strong. Gotta maybe, keep strong. Maybe get your teeth checked. All right. And get all your shots. No! <laughs> Sorry, Sal, you're getting your shots. You're overdue. No way. Yeah, way. Oh, I'm fine. All right, yeah, go be tough, okay? I'll be tough. Wow. Right. Okay, go get your stinky breath taken care of, too. Yes. Weird. <laughs> you thought that was Was that hilarious. funny? Was Stella talking funny? Yeah, you having a sandwich? Is that yummy? Take a bite. Good job. That's the way to eat a peanut butter sandwich. All right, Stella, we're leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. Ooh. You got pink lips now, huh? Tricked I love you. it. Mm. <laughs> I was trying to trick him, and I, I don't know if I tricked you or not. But, but now he's got pink lips, and I probably just smeared my lipstick everywhere. Not too bad. No, don't kiss my cheek. Oh, no, it backfired. Okay, so Stella got her shots and a little, like, nose drop thing. She's all good to go. Um, as far as her legs go, it is exactly what I thought. Um, the doctor said it is most likely the degenerative myo 
myo something but basically it's a spine deterioration so it's just kind of slowly making her legs um, lose function I guess it's not due to the muscle it's just due to a spinal thing you need some crackers sweetie she pulled these crackers out of the out of the pantry all by herself so I need to get her some she asked very nicely she said please huh there you go do you want those say thanks Say thank you. Basically, her legs just are slowly starting to not work. There really isn't an exact timeline for how long they will last. Um, anywhere from like six months to three years, I think is average. So it's kind of all over the place. So we'll just have to keep an eye on her. Um, good thing is it's not painful in any way for her. She doesn't feel it at all. Her legs are just a little, little lazy. It's like she drags her toes when she walks is really what it looks like. But everything else looks good. You're a healthy, healthy old dog. <laughs> he just winked. He just winked at him. Playing out back with her, that won't help or hurt. They just... No, I mean, it, it will help in the fact that it will keep her muscles toned and stronger. You know, like if you've, if you've got weak muscles, it's just gonna, he said it would be a double whammy if she's got weak muscles on top of it. So yeah, yeah. keeping her, keeping her normal active is good. <laughs> little nub wagon. So yeah, we'll just keep doing the normal thing and that's all we can do. Are you learning the sign for music? What's the sign for music? Alright, your turn. We think dad's doing it right, although it does look like he's slapping something. <laughs> she loves music, you guys. Do you want the music back on? Yeah? Where's the music at? Where's you the music? You gotta do a flat hand and then you gotta go across and back. Like you're Conducting yes. music. Good job. Music. I so also think she's a little sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying. You got this she's hand really down. Trying. You need to get this hand down. Sometimes we listen to music at dinner and she loves it. She she absolutely loves Post Malone. Like we put on other music and she just sits there. Well, she she'll enjoys sometimes, it. She, yeah, she likes it, but sometimes she'll point at the thing. And then as soon as I say play Post Malone, she gets a big smile on her face and she knows when it comes on she starts doing her shoulder dancing. You wanna try? It's so cute you guys. Okay. If if we ever run into a celebrity in Utah, I hope that it is Post Malone. Yeah. How fun would that be? That would be. Oh, that'd be way fun. Alright guys, thanks for watching the vlog today. Hope you enjoyed it. It's nice to finally share what's kind of been going on with me recently. Um, so that I can be a little bit more open about it. But hopefully doctor just has good news for us tomorrow um, regarding my issues and and of course the baby looks good. Um, so we will keep you updated with that. We'll take you along to our appointment. I'll be 20, almost 24 weeks. Um, which is crazy because this pregnancy feels like it's flown by. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time. Bye friends.